How's it hanging fellas? I'm Arush and this is another episode of Shovel Knight King of Cards and in today's episode we're going to back to the same level we've been to last episode, revisiting levels recently. This level pissed me off last time, there was a bunch of bullshit I feel like shouldn't have fucking killed me. Now first time I- oh. Well alright, that was my fucking fault. No worries though. Right fucking next to where I died. See the first time around, first level, last episode, I got killed by a bunch of spikes that I feel like I fucking shouldn't have. Perhaps I should, but I felt like I shouldn't. But like it was unfair. And bullshit. And not just because I fucking died and lost money and got pretty fucking mad. And then some other bullshit bottom of the screen killed me in the last episode. I was talking about Kenobi though. Yeah, the kidnappers were fucking dumb as fuck in that episode. They were really clumsy. Strangely so. I was like, are they fucking for real with this? Like, they cannot fucking catch up to Leia. She's like a little girl. They're chasing her to the woods and they're fucking stumbling around. Like it's some fucking... Like it's the wet bandits or something. Come alone. Right? Like they can't catch up to a fucking little girl. Oh, what the fuck? I was about to shoulder bash into something, then I just fucking, I like, didn't do it. It felt like that was alright. I don't always need to feel like winning. I'm just wanna lose. You know, what the fuck was that? I fucking attacked an enemy while I was underneath it. Oh, so these are strange enemies I've never seen. These are like... Oh, fucking beautiful, nice. Chameleons or whatever the fuck these are. Still got my dumbass lemonade. On a scale from 1 to 10, what that give it? Yeah, like a 6. Pretty good. Probably be better if it didn't fucking lost all of its speed. Thanks to whoever the fuck opening it for me. Thank you so much. Should I be like... Damn it. How do I like get stuck? An endless barrage of damage. He fucking I just attacked this thing from the bottom. What the fuck is going on now? Can't fucking pull it off anymore? With a one-time occurrence. Oh fuck you. That was fucking awesome and I Fucked it up, this fucking goddamn fucking game. I'm so sick of this bullshit. Sick of this fucking game. It's going for way too long. Maybe these episodes longer. Why didn't I? I don't know, I just don't fucking feel like it. Kinda wanted to have a shorter series so I don't fucking sit here for a fucking hour and a half playing this. I'm shitting on it like this is a bad game or something. It's not. I fucking love this game. It's great. I'm just fucking sick of it. I don't know. I kind of want to play Skyrim. Well, you might be saying, well, why the fuck aren't you playing Skyrim then? It's your fucking channel. You're the one who makes the decisions. Yeah, but I got a lot of episodes of Skyrim now. And not a lot of episodes of this. So I gotta catch up a little bit. And next week, I planned on... Uh oh shit, what the fuck, man, that's not what I fucking expected to happen. This is bad, I won't be able to catch one of those. Lose money, what's the point of doing these levels if all I fucking get is less money? Some bullshit, not gonna lie. How come there was never like some kind of weird phase where people were obsessed with like Shovel Knight characters and they drew them as like teenagers in high school? King Knight would be the preppy guy. Spectre Knight would be link listening to fucking Nirvana and Linkin Park. Spectre Knight would be the fucking autistic stupid ass moron. 
fuck you with this fucking bullshit. I can't fucking catch that last motherfucking douchebag of fucking gold. Piece of fucking trash. Wait, how am I meant to fucking get through this bullshit? I mean, I suppose I could do this. Or die. I could also fucking die. That's another possibility that could have happened. But thankfully it didn't happen. I didn't die. And I only... Lost my memory of what just happened. I'm talking about Kenobi, wasn't it? I'm like Darth Maul, I, all I talk about is Kenobi. Oh yeah, is Maul gonna appear in Kenobi? Because technically he's still alive. Oh fuck, no, what the flying fuck? Uh, where'd my money go? Where'd it go? Where's my money? My fucking money, Sonny! I'll fucking kill a motherfucker. Son of a fucking piece of goddamn motherfucking shit, these fucking goddamn motherfucking... Not in the mood today. Lose my mind. Uh, of this fucking game. Losing my fucking composure. It's not just, it's just the beginning of this episode. Really. Fuck this fucking bullshit. Get the fuck up here, you piece of fucking dildo looking in motherfucking trash. Jump across. Fuck you. I don't even know what the fuck was the actual fucking solution. Could have fucking recovered my gold if I didn't fuck it up twice in a fucking row. Go to the planet. Find the kidnapper. Apparently he's hired by, by the, the Organa guy from the prequels who came back in this show. Pretty cool. I don't even like fun of this Kenobi show because uh, so many prequel callbacks and everybody's like, why would they call back to the shitty Star Wars movies? And then I tell those people to go kill themselves because what the fuck are they saying? What's up, uh, Pinocchio? Turn my key, turn my key. Bro, it's just fucking mad. I can't be turning people's keys just like that. Fucking King Knight, bro. Ah, oh, God, I did it. Bro. I oh, don't fucking talk to me now, I feel fucking sick. Beep beep motherfucking boop. Thank you for reactivating me. Thank you for reactivating me. A talking automaton? If you can talk, then you can repay your debts. Do something, you Brad boob. What the fuck? Call him a Brad boob. I accept granted. Hero limits now available for purchase. Shop now? No. Aw, oh, fuck you. Fucking bullshit. I saved his life and he doesn't even give me a discount. What the fuck is the point of saving people's life then? There is none. There is no fucking point. There's no point. Going to my Joker arc? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's Elekman stage. Fuck off. I only activate when I step on it. Step on me, daddy. Step on me, Alec man. Alec Baldwin man. Shame these DLCs don't allow you for co-op because uh, beating the first game, the, the base game in co-op was a lot of fun. I never beat it, but we did, me and my friend did get very far. I can tell you are fake chest, you piece of trash. Fuck you. Ouch. Like I can tell. Tell by looking at you. So it's a gift I've been born with. I can tell who's a son of a bitch by looking at them. I call them you watching, sons of bitches. It activates all of them at once. See what I've been fucking saying? This DLC is uh, pretty easy. Because all my fucking deaths are for me falling to bottomless pits. I never fucking once died here by getting killed by an enemy, I think. I do not recall ever getting killed by an actual enemy. 
It's always me fucking dying to some bullshit. Bullshit bottomless fucking pit. I'm gonna put you in a bottomless fucking pit. Yeah, so Kenobi you get some drugs, finds the kidnappers and all that good stuff. And hey, what the fuck? I wonder if this level has an alternative path to take. Perhaps it's up here. No, it's not. Whoa. Show the fuck out, that scared me. Refrain from ever doing that ever again. Aw oh, man, it's fucking grinds my gear. Get it? Oh fuck! Shit, that was close. It was destined to happen. Shut the fuck up. I like this new planet, but there's a scene where um the the fucking first sister that apparently gets some backlash because she's black, and I was like, "Fuck, we're past this, you fucking assholes." Well, like you all like Finn, what's wrong with her? It's not like she's overpowered or anything. So what the fuck? I haven't personally seen anybody be racist to her, but... I don't know, Star Wars like tweeted out like... Can we fucking stop being racist, please? For our new Star of Kenobi? And I was like, people are being racist to her? I don't remember everybody disliking Finn for him being black in the sequels. I mean, I, I liked Finn. He was my second best, best character in the sequels. First was Kylo. Kyle. The fuck would go by Kyle? You got a fucking Sith Lord name, I know he's not a Sith Lord, but you gotta make up your own name and you go with Kyle? Bro. No wonder you're fucking evil. Maybe he didn't make it. He was given to it. Like, if he can fucking... I don't know, go through life being named Kyle, then he's worthy of getting a cool lightsaber. A lot of people were like, when this lightsaber was shown, they were like, making fun of it, but I was like, that's not even the first fucking time we... It's not like this lightsaber's like a new idea. Oh. Oh, that was close. I've fucking seen lightsabers like that with like side, little side things going on before. They were in some video games. Like the Old Republic 2, I think. I don't remember. Not only do we get this thinking bitch on our path, we also get a fancy shop. Keep fucking getting messages from some bitches to fucking texting me. But you know. That I fucking wish for no interactions with human beings whatsoever. Alright, let's go to fancy shop. Find out what's so fancy about it. Is there a path leading to the right? I don't know why, but the camera stays on this thing kind of strangely. I have a thing going on where if I pull up a perfect, I can pull up a perfect dodge roll. I could, I don't know, does more damage or something. Look, it's the Hatman stage. Interesting in this DLC, we don't really visit the... We don't really visit the... What they're called. Look at Baz's armor. He haven't bought it yet, I guess. He bought, I guess he bought it. Oh, a gold class guest with platinum panache. How lovely. I'm not gold and I'm silver. Welcome to my fancy shop. I sell only the fanciest fashion. Clearly you're in the right place. Look at that hat. It's positive or regal. This is a crown, not a hat. Do you know what that makes me? Delightfully modest? Haha, <laughs> peek at my noble wares, mayhap. What the fuck, bro? This shit is expensive as all fuck. Give your interface some regal flair. Hell yeah. I'm a little short and girl? What do you mean? A hundred thousand? Gotta be kidding me, this is expensive as fuck. I think he gives you the oh, I think he gives you discounts if you like. Obviously, you're not gonna have a hundred. You, can, I don't think you can even have a hundred thousand. 
Like the ma max amount is 99,000. So I'm fucking leaving, fuck you. Oh, what's that? What's that? You following me around? Sir, I implore you to make a purchase. Bro. I'm never I'm never recommending you fucking shop let alone shopping in it. Is there nothing that suits you? Come back, I was so looking forward to trying on a new hat. Don't even wear a hat, you wear a helmet. I think you'll get pissed off and You'll have to fight him. Uh oh, he's not too keen on the fact that I didn't bought anything. End of the line, you tight fisted fucking piece of shit, I'll give you shot if it's the last thing I do. Oh no. On guard. I thought we both made the same sound effect. That like we're equally matched. This ability's pretty cool. Run out of vigor though. What's he doing? A Zelda reference? Fuck off. I never played Zelda. Fuck you. Zelda for fucking nerd. And I include you not a fucking nerd. Even though I've been talking... I've been playing some fucking retro platformers and talking about Kenobi. Really, I'm not a nerd. What's up with this broadsword? Oh shit. I have kept my fucking... You know what, I got this. I'm a friendly grip on to attack your enemies. Oh, I got a little grip on. How cute. Ooh, red carpet. How fancy. Where did those ball things come from? What is it, TF2? TF2 is apparently gonna be fixed, by the way. That's what Valve promised. I don't know how much help that Griffin was. They really saw it do anything. But it is cute. Enough, I know what me. I know not what came over me. Your hat, I can't look away. It shines and glimmers magnificently. Just a bit of a cabin fever, really. It's hard to make friends on a sail or a sail in such a remote location. Oh, it's a prequel. So remember how in Shovel Knight this guy sells hats in one of the villages? I guess that's where he moved. Well, that's all very interesting, but I have no. I can better get going. Like he said, like, I don't give a shit. I'll do anything for passage on your airship to escape this dead location. Here, let me mend your rope. Thank you. Here I am. I get on my own. Hat in hand with a new locale. My fancy shop is about to move on and up. Fine, fine, get on with it. Let's go. You're starting to give me a crown ache. Yeah, not only do I take this guy with me, we take his fucking entire shop. Onto our ship. He can apparently hold it with his uh, fucking right hand. Just the whole fucking building. Hey guys, I brought a building. Is that okay with you? I brought a souvenir. All my thanks for this new location. Simply gleams with rustic potential. As for appointments, you're fancy enough to not need one, and I have lowered my prices just for you. Yeah, now I think he sells you for some fucking normal prices. And fucking charge you a million fucking gems you can't even fucking have. Can I play him in cards though? Polar Knight's over there and this motherfucker's drawing me. So everything is in order as I, as I see. Welcome to the Grand Galley Gallery Gala. The whole shop's discounted, but my exhibition is a limited edition. Check it out. Now it costs 10,000. Look at that. I got a fancy fucking life bar with a bunch of bullshit on it and now we can buy a cool new fucking ship thing and I ran out of money check it out my ship has a different fucking design now pretty dope right silver I think that's pretty dope I don't know about you all right so polar knights here I do want to fucking fight him in cards I think I'll do it next episode so see you fellas in the next episode bye